Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mo? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But, so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your... shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. Thricefold, if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> Oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him.
Come. I'll show you how. De Dumanville is killing me. One, Samuel Adams, a Boston time tax collector, has been days, sanctioned for failing to Though collect I should taxes. Though I should have as God sees fit to punish me. The divine plan is set out for each of us as he foresaw, and not as we will. Should we write his plan, do you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. By the Belfry, Those indications his latest flying contraptions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Lieutenant Colonel. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Only one penny! The Boston Country Them and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. 
Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. say what had happened no only that it was a trifling matter and he'd be returned home soon there was some blood though so i wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on where were they taking him towards the hilltop perhaps there's a doctor at the point 